In this Photoshop tutorial, let's take a look at the Ellipse tool. The Ellipse tool is a way to draw ovals and circles here in Photoshop. You can find it by clicking and holding on the rectangle tool and going to Ellipse tool. Once you have that selected, you have some shape properties up here. For instance, we could define whether we're doing a shape or making a shape with the Ellipse tool, uh, creating a path, or just creating pixels. Generally, I keep it on shape. We can select a fill and a stroke. These can be changed later, but if I wanted to make a yellow circle, for instance, with a outline or stroke around it, or maybe none, I could click this. Then we can also look at a few other options up here, make some tweaks if we want to. There are some different settings here. However, we can do one of two things to create the circle. Number one, click and drag. Now that's gonna create an oval, or if you hold shift, it'll be a perfect circle. You can also just click out here and create a circle or an oval of a specific width and height. Maybe I want it to be 500 by 500. I can hit OK, and there's a 500 by 500 circle. Now, every time you use that ellipse tool, you can see down here in my layers panel, it creates a shape layer that is an ellipse. And when I have one of those shapes selected, I can actually see a lot of different properties in my properties panel. I can look at shape properties and mask properties. Make sure you have shape properties selected here. I can transform this to be any width and height I want. I could rotate, but that only matters if it's not a perfect circle. So you could rotate an oval, for instance. I can still change the fill and the stroke color. I can also change the stroke width. So let's go ahead and give this guy a stroke color. We'll make it black. And then we can change the width of that stroke to uh, so that we can all see it. We can also adjust whether that is a solid line or if it's dotted. And we can scroll down a little bit more because you have some more options with the stroke. Like for instance, is the stroke centered on the border of our circle or is it inside our circle or outside our circle? These two options here are more for when you have corners. But those are the basic shape properties here. You can always scale these shapes up and down. So if I select the move tool, shortcut key is V. I can uh, press command T or control T if you're on Windows. I can scale this guy up and down by grabbing a corner and kind of scaling him up and down. I can hold shift and skew him as well if you need to. So that is some of the basic features of the ellipse tool here in Photoshop.